Hi class, I just wanted to do a little model for you and show you an example of what you're going to be creating as your unit project for our novel unit on An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. So throughout the novel, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different themes. Um, our big major theme is going to be about identity. And we're also going to layer in these concepts of perception and self-preservation and kind of how that is connected to the way that we express ourselves online or to the greater public sphere in comparison to maybe how we would share ourselves with our closest friends or just, you know, think of ourselves just internally when we're only really showing it with ourselves. Um, so at the end of our unit, we're going to have a huge workshop, a two week kind of opportunity where we're going to learn how to research and find reliable sources. And we're going to basically investigate two um, big main concepts of social justice. So the two big concepts are going to be discrimination, discrimination, against the LGBTQ community and against immigrants in America. So within that, you're going to have a bit of freedom to find a specific topic or section or part of this discrimination that you find interesting or you just really want to learn more about. Um, and within that period of time to workshop, we're going to be peer editing and you can conference with me and you're just going to build up this foundation of knowledge. So then you can talk like I am right now in a vlog and talk about what you've learned and connect it to the novel. So just like April, May, and just like our author, Ink Green, you guys are going to be creating a vlog and we're going to have a viewing party at the end of the unit. So everyone can share what they've learned. We can invite friends and family to watch and show them everything that we've accomplished. And also my plan is to um, send all of these vlogs and forward them to the author, Hank Green, and hopefully he'll look at them and maybe he'll respond and see hey, we're doing some cool stuff over here with your book. So I'm just going to give a loose example of what I want you guys to do research-wise. I'm not going to get too deep into it as I want you to because I kind of want you guys to find your own thing that gets you excited and find your own sources and your own topic. Um, but something that I really found like a connection to with the novel was the U.S. policy of don't ask, don't tell. So that luckily is not really in effect officially anymore in the U.S., but from 1994 to 2011, um, the U.S. military had this concept of don't ask, don't tell. So basically what that means is that if you're a part of the LGBTQ community, if you're gay or bisexual, or transgender, you um, are not going to be asked about that upon entering. So the idea was is that you're not going to be not chosen or basically not allowed to join the military based on those things anymore, but also if don't talk about it. Basically, they're saying that if you are in the gay community, you can't be out. You can't talk openly about your sexuality. Um, and this really kind of defeats the purpose of like anti-discrimination because it means that you're not allowed to admit to identity traits. Um, and oftentimes, especially in the military, but just all around, there's a lot of discrimination based on um, people's sexuality. And so luckily, now, don't, don't ask, don't tell is not an official mandated U.S. policy, um, but there are still a lot of other links and discrimination, not only in the military, but just in so many other aspects of our society. And so those are all available for you guys to investigate and just really learn a lot more about. Um, so I'm going to use my comparison. So that was a little bit of the nugget of research that I just gave you, and I'm going to connect it now to our novel. So on page 82, spoiler, spoiler alert, hopefully we've read this far when you guys are watching this model, um, our narrator, April May, has just become famous overnight, and she's finding herself in this really crazy situation. So her and her best friend became famous, and they need, um, his father's a lawyer, and they need to find someone to help them with their public relations. So they meet this big, fancy PR lady, and she brings them in her office and just is like, is there anything we need to know about you two? Is there anything you could be hiding? Um, and they say, no, uh, think, you know, never hit someone's dog and then didn't, you know, just ran away. Like we, we have not, we're not hiding anything. So they have them fill out this questionnaire, just questions, questions, questions. And um, 
they had them list everyone that they could have, you know, been intimate with or any romantic partners in the past. And because April May's list includes both women and men, her PR representative basically says that you have to just decide if you want to be straight or gay because the American public isn't going to understand that you're bisexual and really all of the world would understand. So she says your sexual orientation will be a weakness through which through which you will be attacked. Um, and there's a whole lot more about this kind of just in this section of the book, but that's just an, one example about how people, especially in this novel and in real life are just discriminated against and are definitely 100% going to be judged and stereotyped based on identity traits of theirs. So yeah, that's um, a little bit of a model for you guys to know what I want and I'm expecting with your vlogs. And another important thing I just want to make sure to know is that I want to see some sort of excitement or just general enthusiasm for something. So I want you guys to share something that makes you interested and makes you excited to talk about. All right. Thanks, everyone.